over the weekend, uh, in my spare time, I thought about the CBT bill that we did on Thursday, thought about kind of the genesis and why for why we're putting forth the uh, film tax credit bill. And it just made me realize how kind of inequitable what we're doing is. We continue to pass massive corporate tax credit programs in this state. Tax credits that have cost the state nearly $9 billion just under Governor Christie alone. $225 million, which were given out for job creation and retention through non-EDA tax credit programs. Tax credits are the reason our corporate business tax is so volatile. As a result, our revenue has gone down seven of the last ten years on CBT revenue, which has caused us to put forth the bill to increase it to the highest in the country. While we're doing that, we continue to put forth for different sectors tax credit programs, hoping to keep them within our state. Just doing the pure math and back of the envelope math, if we were to stop providing these tax programs, which oftentimes lose states, film tax credit programs alone, lose states around 80 cents on every dollar invested. Massachusetts um, lost $95.5 million on a $113 million investment. If we sat down and if we worked across the aisle together and cut our taxes and became friendly and worked on a different program that didn't cherry pick whatever companies you know, donated the most to us or liked us the most, we could probably provide a tax cut to every small business in this state rather than continuing doing things the way that we're doing them. So I implore my friends on the other side of the aisle, think twice in passing this. You know, it's going to give out $425 million over five years, lasting through 2023. But if we take the numbers that some of the other film tax credit programs have had, we may end up losing $350 million over a five-year period. So